Buzz, this is Buzz. Oh, oh, Buzz, 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 Buzz. Message from July. How are you feeling after that big trip? A little jet lag? Yeah, a little. I mean, can't complain though. Look, I just wanted to say maybe I could have shown you a little bit more respect in the past. You obviously proved in Japan that you deserve it. Hey, don't worry about it. I know you got the whole rookie treatment when you first got to WWE too. I definitely did. Maybe I was just doing the same thing to you without even thinking about it. We're cool now though, right? I don't know why John Cena is here, but I do know that Buzz will be in action. Coming up next on SmackDown Live. We have a great match coming up next. We have a real fan favorite. Going to settle the score.
And away we oh, go man. with Aiden English on the prowl. Nice move. That landed perfectly. him with it. Looks like Aiden English is starting to slow some. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. I wouldn't call for the medics just oh. yet. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. You never want to count a competitor out, but things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. Can't do his job. Let's get one in there that can. Hooked him up. High angle belly of back suplex. English looking a little fatigued. And at this point, you have to wonder if he can recover from this. Hey, he can still win this thing, guys. We've all seen him come back from much worse. Incredible! This has to be it. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He caught him slipping. He has something big planned. This could be huge. He's in so painful. And the odds just swung in Buzz's favor. Now in full control. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. He hits it. Buzz brings everyone to their feet. That should do it. Well, his shoulders are down. you got to think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win, the pinfall, and the victory. Now we have an idea why John Cena's here tonight. Because he has an issue with Aiden English's singing? Cena might not be a fan of the Drama King, but my guess is it has more to do with wanting to get a closer look at SmackDown Live's hottest superstar, Buzz. Take it easy, partner. I'm not out here for a fight. At least not yet. I'm here because I've heard all the buzz. You gotta see this guy who's blowing up on the indies. You gotta see this guy who invaded NXT and stuck it to Triple H. You gotta see this guy who won the US title and defended it in an open challenge week after week. Hmm, I wonder where he got that idea. 
you got to see this guy who went to Japan and beat Nakamura and AJ Styles in the Dome of all places. Now, most people would get caught up in all that, but not me. You see, I've been around for a while. And so many times I've heard all the buzz. And then when it comes time for me to actually see what's behind the buzz, it doesn't measure up to the hype. So I'm out here tonight because I want to know, do you measure up, Buzz? Well, this might come across as arrogant, but I believe I measure up to every bit of the hype. No, oh, that's good. You should be confident in yourself. But I also understand it's one of those need to experience it firsthand to believe it sort of things. So if you truly want to find out if I measure up, how about you and me go one-on-one -on -one at SummerSlam? After that, all your questions will be answered. Let's do it. If anyone knows anything about having immediate success in the WWE, it's me. After all, I was the youngest world heavyweight champion in history at the age of 24. But unlike you, Buzz, I didn't rely on cheap gimmicks like viral videos or invading someone else's show to make it to the top. No, I did things the right way. But that's not what gets rewarded these days, is it? No, now you get hot on the indies, show up, win a few matches on SmackDown, they get handed a main event match in one of the biggest shows of the year. Well, I am sick of it. I am sick of it. I should be facing John Cena at SummerSlam, not you. That is my spot. Look, I could give you an entire list of reasons why I'm facing John Cena at SummerSlam. But instead, let me give you one reason why you're not facing Cena. Because we've seen that match over and over and over again. The WWE Universe wants something new and exciting, not Cena versus Orton Part 589. I don't give a damn what the WWE Universe wants. Oh yeah? Well, I do. And since we have unfinished business after you cost me the US title, how about we give them a match they've never seen before? You versus me, right now! What's in it for me? The chance to prove everything you just said about me. That's fine. But I was thinking more like if I beat you, I take your place in the match versus Cena at SummerSlam. Do you want to shut up all the critics and earn your big main event opportunity? Or do you want another handout? All right, to prove to you and everyone else that I've earned everything I've ever gotten, I'll put my spot in the SummerSlam match on the line. That's great. I look forward to taking it from you by giving the WWE Universe something they have seen before. Me hitting you with an RKO.
Buzz is proving tonight is that he loves taking stupid risks. And this one's going to cost him his match with Cena at SummerSlam. That's only if Orton can defeat him. But what does he have to gain? I think it's a matter of pride. Well, there's a fine line between pride and stupidity, and he's crossed it. He hits him with a face buster. breaking the rules. This could cause irreparable damage. Come on, ref! Great move! Hits with a face buster. Face buster! Man! That was vicious. Looks like Randy Orton has broken a sweat. He's really going to need to create some space for himself. I can't believe the referee didn't see that. Over 15 years into his WWE career, there were a few firsts left for Randy Orton to conquer. But he found one when he beat Bobby Roode and captured the United States Championship for the very first time. throwing the rule book out the window. Warm up the buses. This one's over. Michael mentioned Randy Orton's United States title win and true to Orton form, it came out of nowhere. After a quickly intensifying rivalry, the Viper beat the glorious one at Fastlane for the one title he had yet to claim. In the process, Orton became the 10th person in WWE history to become a Grand Slam champion, which requires you hold the tag titles, the United States title, Intercontinental title and a WWE Championship. Another apex for the Apex Predator. Randy Orton might be the most successful third generation wrestler in WWE history. The Orton family has been a fixture in wrestling for over 50 years, competing in main events from the 1960s all the way to today. Yeah, Cole, it all started with Randy Orton's grandfather, Bob Orton Sr., who competed in the NWA and AWA, even took on Bruno San Martino in New York City. You both started the Orton family tree with the discussion of Bob Orton Sr., but Randy's father, Cowboy Bob Orton, has an impressive pedigree, too, as a WWE superstar, including being in Roddy Piper's corner during major matches at the first two WrestleManias. As great as his father and grandfather were, Randy brought the Orton name to even greater heights with multiple WrestleMania main events and over a dozen WWE Championship reigns. What is he's in? What's Triple H doing here? This could get ugly real fast, guys. We're about to have a new oh, man. Wait a minute. AJ Styles might have something to say about that. Why is AJ attacking Triple H? This is career suicide. Some people value friendship over money, Corey. Oh, those people are idiots. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. And there's his speed paying off. Randy Orton is going to have to improvise and get something going here. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. Guys, it's a wonder he's even able to stand at this point. If I'm the referee, I'm seriously considering stopping this match. Randy Orton is slipping, but he still might have an RKO in his back pocket. the type of move that sends a message to an opponent. His signature slam.
The damage has been done. I don't want to know what that feels like. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. Vintage Randy Orton. What a comeback. This is Randy Orton's chance. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. He hits it. Buzz brings everyone to their feet. That has got to be it. Does Orton even know where he is? He's got the shoulders down. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. The shoulders are down. Real close. Too close for cover. Man, even now in the shape he's in, Randy Orton finds a way to power through. How's this going on? How's the official missing this? This capacity crowd is beside itself. How's he getting away with this is beyond me. What is jumping knee strike on point? The Viper getting out, going for the cover. There's the pinfall and the victory. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Here is your winner, G-S-P-G. And there's your winner via pinfall. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it out there. Great match. And it's matches like this one that make SmackDown such a success. Hey, thanks for having my back out there with Triple H. If it wasn't for you, I might have lost my chance to face John Cena at SummerSlam. No problem. I know you don't have many allies on SmackDown, but from now on, you can trust me to be there for you. I saw what you did out there tonight. That took some guts to put your match with me on the line. Honestly, I'm surprised you did. I wouldn't be where I am if I played it safe. I don't take the easy way out no matter what obstacles are put in front of me. I never give up. Hmm. Interesting choice of words. Yeah, well, that's just how I live my life. For me, it's not just a catchphrase to sell towels. And you think that's all it is for me? I busted my ass for everything I have. And will continue to do so until someone has to drag me out of that ring. Guys, you have a match coming up. How about you settle this in the ring? You know what? That's a good idea, AJ. With all this talk about never giving up, how about you put your money where your mouth is? At SummerSlam, how about we make our match a submission match? 
Like I said, I don't play things safe. So you got it. I hope you're ready to dance at SummerSlam. Because I'm gonna make you tap. Hey, come on, that's enough. Are you sure that was the right decision? <laughs> no, not at all. I need to start learning some more submission moves ASAP. Hey, like I said before, I got your back at the pay-per-view, just in case Triple H or Randy Orton try to get involved again. Hey, I really appreciate that. You've been such a big help, which is... I hate to ask for another favor, but would you be willing to show me the calf crusher? I don't know, man. That's kind of my thing, you know? Can't be giving out all my secrets just in case we have to face each other again someday. Look, I need help if I'm going to beat Cena in this submission match. I mean... I'll get down on my knees and beg if I have to. Oh my, stand up, I'll show it to you. Awesome, I owe you one. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll settle up at some point. I'm sorry for how you've been treated by Triple H, but unfortunately, there's not much else I can do to help at this point. Yeah, tell me about it. He's still holding one against me from five years ago. Anyway, good luck in your submission match versus Cena. Avoid the STF at all costs. The match we have next is going to be awesome. Stay where you are. We have John Cena against an imposing adversary. This is an amazing opportunity for Buzz. Just look at what a victory over Cena did for Kevin Owens when he first arrived in WWE. He went on to become Universal Champion. I agree, if Buzz is able to defeat Cena tonight, it could catapult him to a whole other level. None of that matters because I heard Buzz was begging people backstage to teach him submission holds. That sounds more like a man who's gonna catapult right into a brick wall. authority. Cena is starting to take some deep breaths in there, but not for a second do I expect him to back down now. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. Uh-oh. Words are being exchanged here. 
can't this wait till after the match? A mammoth slam right there, guys. John Cena with the offense. Attacking the leg. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. And now it's John Cena getting pushed to the limit. He doesn't want to let this match get out of control, wow. guys. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants to stay in it. But if you're counting him out now, you haven't been paying attention. He has more resolve than just about anybody on the roster. He's making a statement here with it. Now Buzz has Cena and the calf crusher. A move he obviously learned from AJ Styles. He did it. Buzz has made John Cena give up to the calf crusher. I never thought I'd see that happen. Unbelievable. For everyone who thought Buzz didn't belong in this spot, he proved tonight. Kurt Angle, now he's seen it all tonight. Despite Triple H's best efforts to impede your progress, you have accomplished amazing things on SmackDown. I've been so impressed that I think the Raw audience also deserves to see what all the buzz is about. So that's why I've negotiated with Daniel Bryan and we were able to agree on a special one-time trade. Sending you to Raw immediately. Well, I can't believe it, but the Raw GM has spoken. Buzz is headed for Monday night. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. I wish I could say good riddance, but we'll be right there with him.
There he is, Raw's newest superstar. I was impressed with what you were able to accomplish on SmackDown in such a short amount of time. Kind of reminds me of, well, me. Well, thanks, Kurt. I hope there are no hard feelings that I didn't initially sign with you. None whatsoever. We're just lucky to have you here on Raw now. So what's your plan tonight? Going to sit back and get a feel for things? Uh, I didn't get here by sitting back and waiting for something to happen. No, I guess not. You'll be seeing me out there sooner than you think. And in a very big way. gathered here tonight for a very special occasion to celebrate a milestone that only the most successful television programs reach this is the 100th episode of Ms. TV when my hand goes up your mouth goes shut show some respect for the moment in history you are witnessing do you know the kind of blood, sweat, and tears that go into making a production like this week in and week out? No, you don't. Because you've never made one episode of anything, let alone 100. Now, in honor of this achievement, I put together a special documentary recapping the series' greatest moments that I'd like all of you to watch for the next 10 minutes. Please, turn off your cellular devices and enjoy the show. Apparently, this is what Buzz meant when he talked about making a big debut on Raw. This is unbelievably disrespectful to the Intercontinental Champion. But from what we've seen in the past from Buzz, I'm really not surprised. Hey, maybe he wants to congratulate The Miz on making it to 100 episodes. I doubt it. What the hell do you think you're doing interrupting my 100th episode celebration? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm saving these people from having to endure any more boredom. Instead, I'd like to give them something actually worth watching. Me beating you for the Intercontinental title. And unlike that terrible highlight video, I guarantee that won't take anywhere near 10 minutes. Are you insane? Or maybe you've just been inhaling so many fumes from your piece of trash van that you think you can interrupt my celebration and get a shot at my intercontinental title. What's the matter? You scared I'll beat you so bad that Ms. TV will be canceled before it makes it to episode 101? You know what? I think we got off on the wrong foot. You just got to Raw and we haven't been properly introduced. I'm Miz. Obviously. This is my beautiful wife, Maurice. And then there's the Miz Taraj, Curtis and Bo. Why don't you introduce yourselves to the new guy? Well, we've seen this before. He deserves it for interrupting this historic night. It's three on one. Now we can watch the special Miz TV documentary he interrupted. Please, no. Ladies Welcome and gentlemen, to another edition of TV's oh, longest yes. running weekly episodic television program, Monday Night Raw. Hello, I am Elias. I've got one question for everyone here tonight. Who wants to walk? with Elias. Now, last week we had a newcomer arrive on the scene and challenge The Miz. He quickly learned that in WWE, if you mess with the bull, you get the horns. And when I say WWE, I am referring to the WWE that stands for Walk with Elias. 
We got a new guy here named Buzz Who got beat down by the Miz If you ask me, it's only a matter of time Before he's out of the biz He drives around in an old crappy van Like a homeless man He reminds Elias a lot Of all you dirt poor fans I never thought I'd be happy to see Buzz, but if it's to interrupt Elias' music, I would welcome an earthquake. Seems like Buzz isn't a fan either. Okay, I think I speak for everyone here when I say we've heard just about enough. atrocity of a song I don't have a problem with you yet but I do have a problem with the Miz after what he and his so called Miz Taraj did to me last week so Miz I'm calling you out right now Buzz must really want to get beat up two weeks in a row First off, Elias, I want to apologize for your beautiful acoustic set being interrupted by this simpleton who obviously doesn't appreciate art or culture. He did it to me last week, too. Second of all, Buzz, I don't care what you do or say. You're not getting a shot at my Intercontinental title. But since it seems like you're dying for a fight, I have another idea. How about you face the Miz Taraj in a handicap match tonight? You know what? Sounds good. In fact, why not add Elias to their team too? Then I can beat all three of them and show the WWE Universe what a fighting champion is supposed to look like. You are dumber than you look. I second that. There's been a ton of chatter on social media about this contest. Up next, it's all about the numbers. We have one of our breakout talents in a match that will be etched in the record books. These superstars are chomping at the bit, especially the ones with the numbers on their side. He's focusing on the face now. My colleagues may have harsh opinions about Elias' musical talents, but I see Elias as a man who's just born to run all over WWE. And with a handicap match like this, things are bound to get out of hand. Throughout his time in WWE, Elias has demonstrated an ability to defeat up and comers and veterans alike. Sometimes with a six string on their back. Look, there's no doubting Elias' ability inside the ring. I just wish he'd take up something like making model airplanes instead of live musical performances, if those qualify as such. And it's Elias floundering some. I don't know about you, but I don't like his chances of survival here in this handicap match. Yes. The important thing is that he doesn't overreact here. He's taken on a little bit of damage, but it's nothing he can't overcome. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys, and you can bet he envisioned things going much nice. differently for him heading into this match. There are certain superstars who are synonymous with handicap matches. Of course, there's Andre the Giant, and more recently, Braun Strowman. But I don't think I've ever seen anybody in more handicap matches than Big Show guys. 
Elias definitely tiring out there. This is not at all where he wants to be at at this point in this handicap match. Listen to this crowd. They oh, can man. see this handicap match is starting to slip away from him here. I could agree with you more about what you were saying earlier, Michael. It seems like Big Show has been in dozens, if not hundreds, of handicap matches. And believe it or not, I'd say he won the majority of them. Yeah, but I can tell you one he didn't win. I'm out on SmackDown back in July of 2008 when he was forced to take on MVP, Vladimir Kozlov, Shelton Benjamin, and the great Kali. Well, I don't know if there's a man alive who could have turned back that force. This thing is getting more chaotic by the moment. Uh-oh. The Miz gives Elias his guitar. Buzz gains control of it. And he nails him with the guitar. That'll do it. Here's the cover. Does he have him here? There's one. There's two. They got him. What an incredible victory. Buzz somehow overcomes the odds. Somehow, he cheated. Buzz is here on Raw to continue his quest for the Miz's Intercontinental Championship. Don't think I haven't noticed the impact you made on Raw already. In fact, if you can beat Bo Dallas tonight, I don't care what Miz says. You've earned a shot at his Intercontinental title. And speaking of looking out for you, if Miz attacks you during the match, you'll still get your title shot. Wait, who says I'm not a good GM? I really hope you win tonight and get your title match with the Miz. I'm so sick of him and Maurice running their mouths. You'll be the first active superstar to be inducted into the WB Hall of Fame if you can pull that off. Keep an eye out for a receipt coming your way. For the broken guitar, if you get my drift. Even if somehow you get past me tonight, you don't have what it takes to be Intercontinental Champion. <laughs> yeah, I think you need to actually have visited another continent to be Intercontinental Champion. <laughs> We're A-listers. We visit different continents just to go to movie premiere or the hottest new club. Florida's not a continent, right? No, I don't think so. But it's surrounded by water. I thought that's what made something a continent. No. You're thinking of an isthmus. Hey, you know what? It's none of your business what continents we visited. All I care about is embarrassing you tonight. Hold on to your seats. We have singles action coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents against Bo Dallas. Going to settle the score. Two 
reiterate what's at stake here. If Buzz can defeat Bo Dallas, he'll earn a shot at Miz's Intercontinental Championship. And keep in mind, per Kurt Angle's decision, if the Miz interferes on Bo's behalf, Buzz will still get his title shot. Why doesn't Angle just hand Buzz the Intercontinental title? I mean, he's giving him every possible advantage. I believe the goal is to make sure it's a fair match without involvement from The Miz. Well, after this match, you and Buzz might be bow-leaving otherwise. He's inflicting some serious pain here. The human body can only absorb so much of that. He's trying to mangle his face here. no one was expecting. He's got plenty of gas left in the tank. Clearly not enough damage done. He's upset about something, guys. When isn't he upset about something? Oh, and he reverses it. The biggest thing an opponent has to be aware of when they lock up with Bo Dallas is falling under an immediate attack. The Bo leave in Bo spirit has consumed Bo Dallas, and this man is more ferocious than ever. Oh boy, he is rolling. The Bo Dallas we What a jumping knee strike on point. He's back in control here. That'll rearrange your face. This might be it. Cover. One. Hooks two. two leg. Kicked out at oh, two and man. a half. I thought he had him. Wait, what's Miz doing? What the heck? Why would Miz punch Bo Dallas? Wait a minute! The Miz is a genius. Since he hit Bo, Buzz got disqualified and doesn't get an Intercontinental title shot. The Miz found a way around Kurt Angle's stipulation. I guess you have to give him credit for that. Buzz is obviously upset about how all this transpired. Tough night for Bo Dallas. He'll be fine. And besides, he won the match. I'd hardly call that a victory. Yet again, The Miz finds a loophole to avoid defending the title. I know. I'm just as frustrated as you are. So what are you gonna do about it? I'd like to give you your title shot anyway. But unfortunately, I just got off the phone with Triple H. And he said that since Bo Dallas technically won, you don't get to face The Miz. Triple H can just overrule you like that? Unfortunately, when push comes to shove, he can. And I'm not surprised that he did, given your history with him. All right, well, if Miz and Triple H are refusing to give me an opportunity, then maybe I need to make my own. Opportunity? No. Title. I know a guy who can help me out. You do whatever you think you need to do. Hey, Cole. I need a favor. 
it's short notice, but you did such a good job making the titles for BCW that I wanted to see if you could make me a custom title for me to use on Monday Night Raw. <sighs> Fine. I promise to call you more often, not just when I need something. All right, I'll email you some design ideas, but one thing I do know is that my title will only be defended in Thanks, man. You're the best. Yes, I still have the lucky keychain you gave me. But I gotta run. Thanks. Ugh. I can't believe what happened in your match with Bo Dallas. Somehow The Miz continues to find new ways to be the most annoying person on the planet. You're offering me a chance to make Ms. and Maurice look like even bigger idiots? Yeah, I'm in. Just so you know, I still would've beaten you tonight even if Ms. didn't accidentally hit me in the face. Yeah, it was a total accident. We're, We're not, not brainwashed. brainwashed. Yeah, yeah, we, we have, have minds, minds of our, of our own. own. Stop, Stop doing, doing that. that. You, you first. first. No, no, you first. first. It must really suck to think that you have everything going your way, only to have someone who's better looking, more famous, and more talented outsmart you in the end. Triple H has spoken. Thanks to me, you lost the match and your title shot. Are they bringing back the Divas title?
the Miz. And this is my lovely wife, Maurice. Say something to the audience, Maurice. That was wonderful, honey. You truly bring so much to the table and are certainly not just window dressing whose sole purpose of being in WWE is to follow me around from town to town, ironing my weird matrix cloak dress that I wear. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. When my right foot goes in, your right foot goes out. When my right foot goes in, you shake it all about. You do the stupid Miz dance and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Because I'm the Miz and I'm awful. Since apparently our GM either thinks this is funny, which is impossible, or is just not paying attention to his own show, I am this close, this close, to dialing 911 to report two counts of aggravated character assassination. Whoa, 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 Miz. Sasha and I were just having a little bit of fun out here. No need to go overboard. I mean, besides, you didn't even let me get to the best part other than showing everybody how big of a goof you are, the whole point of tonight was to debut my new singles title. You see, since you refused to give me an intercontinental title shot, and then Triple H backed your little scheme with loser Bo Dallas. I was forced to make a title of my own. You created your own title? Wow. What do you think this is? WWE 2K19? This is real life. It's not pretend time. You don't get to make up your titles. In fact, this is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. And I've seen your matches on the indies. You want to talk about pathetic? I think someone who refuses to defend their title, that's pathetic. Because even though this championship is brand new, it already holds more value than yours because I'm not going to hide behind it. I'm going to defend it against anyone at any time. All right, champ. I have someone you can defend your made-up title against. Someone who's still waiting for payback for a broken guitar. Like I said, anyone at any time. But you didn't give me a chance to explain that my title has some special conditions for how it must be defended. What do you mean? Like the matches can only be held in high school gyms? Or there can't be more than 200 people in attendance? <laughs> Not exactly. My title will only be defended in no disqualification matches. The wait is over. This one's for all the marbles, and it's coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents taking on some tough competition. Next. Oh, I cannot wait. I can't believe Buzz just sprung this title match stipulation on Elias. It's completely unfair. I actually think it's kind of nice to see Buzz pull one over on his opponents for a change. I agree. We're so accustomed to seeing Buzz at a disadvantage. Finally tonight, he gets a match on his terms. Oh, I thought broadcast journalists weren't supposed to be biased, but I guess I was wrong. 
Offense like this is exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. You gotta believe this one's over. This kind of offense he's known for. Oh, I think this man means business. He's displaying classic offense here. Nicely done. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Guys, in a title match like this one, on a stage as big as the one we're on now, you have to wonder how much nerves will become a factor. The champ to the top turnbuckle. It's all academic from here. Circling back to your earlier point, Corey, you have to think nerves will play a big part in this match, which I think favors the champion. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, great move. Oh, oh, it's over. Uh-oh, this might be the end of Elias tonight. And maybe not. It's just a matter of time now. Looks like we got a quarrel brewing. The ref's got to nip this in the bud. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. And you can see that Elias is looking overwhelmed. I would be too. He's in over his head. The champ seems to have his number here tonight. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is... What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. Here's his moment, Michael. Buzz wins and keeps the title around his waist. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. There's good. There's great. And then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. Ladies and gentlemen, you just got a taste of the unbelievable kind. Here is your winner, and still, Intercontinental Champion, GSPG. Well, that one was over before it even started. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. Don't adjust your TV, folks. This Vegas crowd really is this loud. You showed up a few weeks ago on my show acting like you own the place. You insult me and my wife and then cut every corner possible by creating your own title. Not to mention forcing Elias to compete with a random stipulation he wasn't prepared for. Well, I am sick of it. You want your match? You got it. My legitimate illustrious title versus your second-rate imaginary title. At Hell in the Cell, we're done playing make-believe because I'm going to show you what it's like to live in the real world. Buzz has his match with The Miz, so what's Kurt Angle doing out here?
I'm glad you two are finally going to face off one on one. That's right. Maurice, Elias, and the Mistraj will be banned for Brigside. And since Buzz's title is on the line, the match will be held oh, under be his title me. stipulations. Which means it will be a no DQ match. We've been waiting a long time for this. The championship is up for grabs right here next. We have a real fan favorite versus The Miz. Here we go, Buzz's title and the Intercontinental title are on the line tonight in a no-DQ match at WWE Hell in a Cell. Buzz has everything to gain and nothing to lose. His made-up title is absolutely meaningless. If that's true, then why did Miz issue the challenge? Because like most of us, he was tired of Buzz's antics and thought this would shut him up for once and for all. Little did he know that thanks to our wonderful GM, he'd have to compete under Buzz's ridiculous rules. Well, none of this would have happened if Miz hadn't weaseled his way out of an intercontinental title defense. Nonetheless, that's all history, and certainly more history will be made tonight. Guys, a loss here for the champion would be incredibly embarrassing, especially considering all the trash talking I'm told that's been going on behind the scenes. I don't want to reveal my sources, but let's just say there's been some pretty harsh words being tossed around. Executed perfectly. Challenger starting to falter. I don't know who your sources are, Corey, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to learn that the champion has been a little cocky heading into this one. And there's nothing wrong with that, Michael, especially considering just how dominant the champ has been of late. When you're that good, you have every right to bow your chest out a little bit. He's displaying classic offense here. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. The Miz with a nice reversal. Believe it or not, fellas, some people are speculating whether the champ should have to defend the gold against what some are calling inferior competition here tonight. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. Oh boy, he is rolling. Corey, I think you're just trying to drum up controversy. I haven't heard any whispers about the champion having to defend against inferior competition. Yeah, inferior competition? That's nuts. I'm willing to bet the champ started that rumor in an attempt to get into his opposite. What is he hit? It Buzz brings everyone to their feet. I'm not sure how much he has left. The Miz's chances just went from bad to worse. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, he's going to do one move after the other. It's devastating. This one is over. Looking for all the glory here. And he got a near fall out of it. How? How? As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go for it and miss, that could be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. Nice move. This kind of offense he's known for. When this guy's on, look out. We got a cover. How does he keep doing this? Wow, I thought this was over. Call me crazy, but this might be one of those rare instances where the champion actually enters the match as the underdog. I know it sounds odd, but it really seems like the champ is up against a headwind here. What a jumping knee strike on point. This one's over, guys. The Miz got the worst end of that stick. 
What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. Not the first time we've seen this move tonight. Man, he goes for the cover. You're not crazy, Byron. The champ certainly has an uphill battle here, and while well, it's rare, the cover. And this one's history. What a win. And here's another look at what made that match so special. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. You're looking at the first ever superstar to simultaneously hold the Intercontinental title and for lack of a better term, the Buzz title. Yeah, his carry-on bag just got a little bit heavier. Yeah, if I were the Miz, I, this match would be under protest. It should have never taken place under these rules. Well, it did, and now we have a new champion. You can protest all you want, but it's not going to change what happened. You did it. You finally shut up The Miz. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I did beat him and take his Intercontinental title. That's good enough. <laughs> Thanks for helping me along the way. We make a pretty good team out there. We did. <laughs> if you ever need someone to dress up in a ridiculous costume to send a message to one of your opponents, I'm your guy. I'll remember that. <laughs> hey, Sasha, you mind if I have a moment to talk business with the champ? Yeah, no problem. I was thinking about calling myself Champ Squared, actually. You know. Yeah, about that. Not to put a damper on your big victory, but according to WWE regulations, you're only allowed to hold one singles title at a time. I could try to circumvent the rules and let you hold both, but Triple H would just force you to vacate one anyway. You really know how to ruin a party. I'm sorry. So which title would you like to keep? That had to be a tough decision. If it's any consolation, I'll give you the rest of the night to celebrate with both championships. Thanks.